Kell Brook is drained, man. And I guess that's no surprise to anybody. <clears throat> you know, he doesn't look as bad as in some of his other weigh-ins at 147 pounds. But I mean, he just looks dead tired. He looks like he has no energy. He looks vegan, man. All cheeks sunken in, eyes sunken into his head. You see that um, cheekbone, how it just caves in over there, uh, just to the left of his eye or to the right of his uh, left eye. Yeah, man. But the thing that's the most disturbing about this whole ordeal today, well, it's what you see right in front of you, right? Not only is Terrence Crawford beaming, unlike Kell Brook, he's drinking water. As soon as he got off that scale, he went by his people, Terrence Crawford, that is, and they had two different people had two big bottles of water, electrolytes, whatever the hell it was, some kind of sports drink, both. And he immediately started drinking it. This is yet another bottle of something else that he's drinking. Kell Brook, on the other hand, didn't go to his people for any fluids. None of them had any fluids anywhere visible. And he's still, throughout this entire interview, not drinking any fluids. Why? Because he has a dehydration clause. But, 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 he said there is no rehydration. Oh, well, I mean, if he said it, then it must be true. Who asked? Why? If he didn't have a dehydration clause, as soon as he got off that scale, he would have been drinking water. Okay? He wasn't. This is going to be another Canelo Sergey. Now, I understand, for, from what I do understand, they don't have a court case hanging over Kelbrook's head. So, you know, it's not exactly the same, but... Yeah, man. We'll see what happens. Hopefully, Kel comes to win, but you should expect to see him at least as big as Terrence Crawford. Hopefully, bigger. You would think you'd want to see him in there bigger, right? He's the bigger man, blah, blah, blah. Is he going to be bigger? I don't think so. I think they slapped the dehydration clause on him, and he's going to be... Good for three, four, maybe six rounds. And after that, his strength is, is just going to leave him. It's just a feeling I get. That's my opinion. I think the fight is competitive. Maybe even Cobrook will win the first half of the fight. But after that, it's just going to be all downhill. I have a feeling. We'll see what happens, but man... You best believe, you best believe they slapped that dehydration clause on him. Why would they ask anyway, right? Why would, I presume it was some reporter asking him, right? They, they just wanted to get that out there, okay? Just, just so you understand, there's no dehydration clause and it's going to be a good fight. Yeah, right. Thanks for watching.